G'day everybody. This morning I am up uh, top of Mount Cordo Lookout doing something a little bit different. And today I'm I'm out here hiking obviously but I'm not out for landscape photography. Today I'm here doing a bit of a product shoot for a great Australian company called Oddi Merino who do really great merino wool hiking shirts. So Paul from Oddi Merino has uh, sent me a shirt to try and take some really great photos of. I'm going to do it a little bit differently today. I'm going to be both the model and the photographer, so I'm doing some self-portraits of myself in the shirt, which I've never done for a product or a company before, but I do it for my YouTube pictures sometimes, so I'm gonna see how I go. I've taken a few already, because I had to get in here while the light was still good, um, so I just thought I'd try and make a quick vlog, a bit of a behind the scenes type thing. I've never done this before, so we'll just see what happens. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to go and sit on the rock over here and take some self-portrait. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is line up with my Olympus, which is my main camera I'm shooting today. So I'm going to shoot, I'm going to try and shoot a large aperture, f1.8, to try and get a narrow depth of field. So that I'm nice and sharp but the background's a bit blurry. Not that there's all that much background at the moment anyway. So I've got a, a timer set and I'm bracketing three shots. So I'm bracketing three exposures because it's quite bright out here and just trying not to move. The shots were not bad, but I didn't make it in time, so I've got to hurry a bit more. Focus is good though, so and it just gives me an opportunity to sort of check my posing again as well, um, just so that I don't look like too much of a gibbon, and try again. Okay, so hopefully I got some better pictures there. I was bracketing as I said, but I may not actually need to use the bracketed shots, depending on how I go with dynamic range. I think I might change my composition a bit. So the camera is actually taking pictures now. And I'm just trying to look interesting. I'm gonna try a different angle as well. Might see if I can get one with me here. And I'll move this camera back up there and get one sitting here on this ledge. Maybe with a bit of that valley in there behind me. So I did bring a bunch of gear today, more than I may end up actually needing, but that's okay. I'd rather bring too much than not enough. I've got my EM1 Mark II, of course, which is my main camera I'm going to be shooting with today. And I also brought an old Sony A7, just mostly just to use like as a prop so I can take some pictures, you know, of myself looking like I'm taking pictures because people do that when they go out hiking. There we go, 15 second countdown. Give me time to come over here. I'm just gonna plant myself on this rock here and look out towards the mountain. I might try and sit there and look a bit more towards the camera. Otherwise that was good. They were pretty good shots. So I'm gonna try those again. This might be a bit better, I think. So what I want to do this time is try and get some pictures of me standing up. So I've focused on the rock. Now I'm going to tilt the camera and grab that Sony. And I take this hat off. I brought a different hat as well as another prop so I can get a couple of different, well, I guess a couple of different looks. I'm going to start my countdown, head over to my spot and see what I can do now. Okay, there's nine shots, three bracketed frames. While I'm pretending to take pictures, let's check those out. Yeah, they're much better. So 
So now I'm just going to change lens back to my 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro lens um, because I need a bit wider angle than I've got with this Prime. This Prime is nice. It's the 45 millimeter f1.8. So that gives in full frame 35 mil terms. It gives a 90 millimeter, so short telephoto portrait sort of length. Um, I like to use it for many things, not just portraits. I use landscapes and street photography and all sorts of stuff, but I just really like it. And it's really nice up here um, right now for what I'm doing now, because I can actually sort of get a little bit of bulkier, a little bit of blurry background with it. All right, so just gonna frame that up. I needed the bit more wide angle. I've moved my gear a bit so it's not in the shot. And I'm going to pretend to use that camera again. See, it sits some pictures of me getting Mount Mitchell there. And I'm gonna, oh, this is gonna be tricky because now the sun's up, there's a lot of dynamic range. So I'm gonna try this. So 15 second timer, focus down there. I'm getting the mountain and hopefully, and myself in. Okay, that way slightly, all right. I know that was a lot of faffing about, I'm sorry, but I just wanna try and make sure I get this fairly right. So I'm shooting at 18 mil, so the equivalent of 36 mil full frame, which should be nice. Might do on looking towards the camera a bit. See if I can get any cool drone footage of me sort of standing out near the edge there maybe with the drone up looking at me and see how we go. So the wind picked up just as I started flying, which is always the way. I really want to try and do this though, I've got some really great shots. Okay, I'm going to try again. So I'm still taking time shots with the drone. It's actually working out really well. Um, I'm just going to grab some more props. Brought my hiking poles. Not because I need them for hiking this track, but I thought they might make some nice props. Because Oddi Marino are a hiking brand. Getting my hiking poles out, like I want these photos to look like I'm actually properly hiking. I'm going to try another time shot with these. Just going to try a couple more here. Just got to look like I'm looking at something interesting. Bit of a smile. Do one out this way. Oh wow, there's actually some nice light. I'm going to have to stop this in a second. Come back this way, my drone friend. So, I'm going to be honest, I feel like a bit of an idiot. I just crashed my drone. Nothing serious, I just put it into a little, into a plant and it sort of just rolled down a little bit of dirt. I was, didn't realize I had it so low because when you're looking at it out over the cliff, it doesn't look so low and I was bringing it in to land it anyway. So I could take a couple of pictures out there of the sun coming through the rain. Um, I brought it in a bit too quickly and hit this plant and it tumbled a little bit. It all looks okay, I've checked it out. I haven't turned it back on, but they are pretty solid. They're pretty tough things, so it should be okay. Uh, now I'm just going to take a couple of quick pictures before that light disappears. So that is very cool out there. Oh, that's amazing. So I might pack up. There are a few other types of shots I want to do in the rainforest. I think I've got enough up here on the cliff. So I'm just walking along the path a little bit. Yeah, spiderweb. So I'm just walking along the path at the moment a little bit on the way to Bear Rock. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go all the way to Bear Rock today, just because for what I'm doing today, I don't need to. I'm just hoping to walk a little bit and get to the little bit sort of sparse eucalyptus forest area that's up here. I'm gonna put this camera away for a minute because this path is really overgrown at the moment. I've never seen so much vegetation up here. 
but I've just got to sort of concentrate a bit on where I'm walking so I don't slip or anything because it's really overgrown. Um, so hopefully I get to this eucalyptus forest soon and I'll talk to you soon. If it's too overgrown, I might just can it and get some shots in the rainforest, but see what happens. So now I've just stopped on the path heading towards Bear Rock. I'm not actually going to go all the way to the eucalyptus bit because I'm getting some really great stuff here in this misty rainforest. Uh, I am just going to start getting a couple of shots while the mist is still here. So this is just a bit of behind the scenes. So I took some shots before, both with the camera, holding the, the other camera just as a prop, some with this, some without. I've used both the, the zoom lens, so the 12 to 40 zoom lens, but also I'm using the 75 mil Olympus lens at the moment, which is a beautiful medium sort of telephoto f1.8. Beautiful bulk air, beautifully sharp, just really nice. I'm shooting it right now at either 1.8 or f2, and it's getting some really, oh, that's really nice. So I actually think I'm probably pretty happy that I'm finished here at Mount Cordeaux. But I've got plenty of shots to edit, um, some in the forest, some at the lookout, some with the drone. So I think I've got more than enough. Oops, I accidentally turned the camera on. More than enough for the company to have a have a peruse through and, and choose some. I didn't end up going anywhere else to take any more photos, as I really feel like I got enough there in the rainforest, and it started to pour with rain. So thank you very much for coming along with me today. I know it was something different. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon. I just don't need to. Oh, Shiza.